Welcome back everyone! Welcome back to Let's Play Car Mechanic Simulator 2018. We're uh, fixing this poor man's guy's car who bought it for quite a bit and now there's a hell of a lot of things wrong with it. The payout is already 3500 which is actually not as much as I thought it would be. We need a brake caliper, a front axle knuckle cover... Wait... Front axle knuckle cover? Uh, what is missing? Front axle knuckle cover. Let's see. Boop. This is what I like to do to see the uh, the things pop up. What? Oh, so it's one of the front axle knuckle covers should be replaced. Front axle knuckle cover ah this this thing okay see this is the problem uh with this new mode now in the previous game see this one is new the other one is not in the previous game it said you know find find the problems and replace them uh and there was a minimum there was a minimum condition required and there's a minimum condition here as well what? Hmm, actually, now that I think about it, it's kind of the same, isn't it? I don't know. Ah, blah, blah, blah. Right, let's take this off and do it properly. So, see, the brake disc ventilated is fine. See, that's the problem. Okay, so that's what I wanted to say. You know, before there was no story, it was just a list with problems. Or you had to find all the problems and replace them. But now, you know, before, things were slightly slightly rusty and the stuff that needed to be replaced was very rusty. But here, now it says, you know, replace stuff that's wrong with it. So that sort of ambiguously said, you know, makes you think, well, this thing is very rusty. Obviously, it needs to come off. But no, it doesn't. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's a little bit confusing now, but oh well. So yeah, we'll need to we'll need to take the rest of the stuff off, unfortunately, and replace it. I could just um. Really, this needs to be replaced. It doesn't look that bad. I could just use the little stars available. These ones. So, you know that gets a lot easier. Because it actually tells me where these things are. Except these things, which I've not discovered yet. I don't know where they are. Front axle knuckle cover. Let's get one of these. There we go. So that one's new now. Oops. That's fine. <clears throat> so if, you know, if this was an actual mechanic and... The guy came to you and said, well, there's stuff wrong with this car, can you please, fi please fix it? You wouldn't be putting these discs back on, I don't think, because we've already swapped all the other stuff back. So, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. You would probably advise them not just to make money yourself, but because that's usually what it's done. If you replace one brake, you will be replacing the other brake as well to keep it... Um, aligned or it's not really the right word to keep the car from you know uh steering to the left or right when you brake so this rubber bushing needs to go i can replace it with this one so now basically what we have to do is oh this needs to go as well i guess yeah, see see this is the problem this stuff is 61%, but he wants it replaced. So, rear shock absorber A. Rear shock absorber A. And that is what makes it more difficult to find what's actually wrong with the car. Because now, see, this thing was at 61%, and it was only mildly rusty. Oh. Um, yet he wanted it replaced. So, all of the stuff that's mildly rusty could be the culprit. So, I don't, I don't think that's really done properly, unfortunately. See, all these these rubber bushings as well need to be replaced. Um, well, let's see. So, that was done. That was done. 
That was done, that was done, that was done. So now I do have to use these stars to actually see what's wrong. See, this thing needs to go as well. And if I, if I didn't have to take it off because I had to take everything else off, I wouldn't know. Sway bar, rear, and link. Uh, which is also why, you know, it gives me so many problems trying to find the, the stuff that's actually wrong with it now. So see that rubber bushing there as well. Small rubber bushing. That needs to be put together with newer rubber bushings. So I need two more small rubber bushings. Small rubber bushing. Right, let's put that on there. Thank you. It looks nice and shiny though, doesn't it? Okay, so that's that. Boop. Boop. So now there's just one more thing, the brake caliper. And of course, any of the other stuff that might be wrong with this thing. I've already taken this stuff off, right? Yes, I have. So see, if it's if it's been examined, then we've taken it off. So let's go to this side. There's something else missing here. Oh, brilliant. I've already... Ah! I've already taken this wheel off and put it back on like three times now. Or maybe this will be the third time. Fortunately, it's just the uh, fortunately it's just the brake calipers that needs to go. See, why does the brake caliper need to go, but not the brake disc? Brake caliper. Probably need a new cylinder as well, otherwise they won't be happy. There we go. Never mind, I already had a new one, so oh well. Alright, so now I guess it's just time to start taking stuff off. Which is kind of annoying, really, to be honest. I have to take stuff off until I find what the uh, developers had in mind. See, I have, to, I have to take these rubber bushings out because they haven't been examined yet. And then check the list if that was what, it w what was required. And obviously that was not. No, wait a second. No, not that one. I can put the old one in. There. And back to examine mode. Oops. So it could be one of the... Um, uh, one of the shock members as well. I mean shock members, shock absorbers. 61. Oh, let's check if that was it. No, it wasn't. So I'm guessing these rubber bushings are not the culprits. Yeah, not, not quite happy about that. Uh, let's try taking this shock... Whoops. Try taking this shock absorber off, because I think the other one we've already taken off. This one we haven't. And it's all just... It's all just one big part, so we can quickly take it off. Ah, crap. Alright. Take the tire off. Yeah, I do like the idea of story mode, but... It wasn't really done properly, I would say, because of this very problem. Because what makes, you know, what makes one part at 60% good, but the other part at 60% uh, not, and it needs to be replaced? That doesn't make sense. But there you go, that's, that's what's going on. Come on, can you... Please move the camera so I can actually see the tires. I mean, the screws. That's so annoying. Right, let's see. It could be the exhaust as well, but I think more than that, it's some of this stuff back here. So we're gonna... No, 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 no. We're gonna go here, and we're gonna go for examine, if we can. Now, it's gonna pop up in the thing... Fortunately, none of this stuff really has to be taken off to be examined, so that's really good. It might be some of this, though. Yeah, it could be some of these. Let me just double check. Nope, still not discovered them. Let's take this stuff off. Was it that? No, it wasn't. Brilliant. Put it back on. 
Put the spring back on. Yeah. What about the other thing? It's, you know, it's, it's interesting. It's a really small change as to how the missions are approached from the previous game, but it's a fairly big change and unfortunately it doesn't quite work. The middle muffler. Can be examined by an OBD. Oh yeah, because there's the catalytic converter. What about the front sway bar? So anything you don't like from here? No. What the hell? What else is wrong with this car? I've already taken this stuff off, haven't I? Uh, so I've, I've pretty much examined everything here, apart from these things, but... Can be examined on the test path. No, that looks okay. I've already taken this stuff off, haven't I? No, I haven't. Not this stuff. But this stuff, this stuff is alright, so... I mean, I cannot say that. It's 61%, so the game might decide that it's not. Yeah. So I'm guessing the problem is at the back. I mean, at the front. None of this stuff seems to be... wrong, and I've already taken... Hmm. Have I taken this stuff off? No, I haven't. That might be the problem. So every mission, unfortunately, takes a lot longer now because of that. Small rubber pushing. Nope, that's not it either. Brilliant. No, I don't want that. There's a wheel hub bearing. A wheel hub. But I've already taken that off. So I would have found it. Let's put that back on. Hmm. Spring cap, rear spring. Well, actually, I can put the car back on the test path now. Move car onto the test path. Wheels are missing. What? Oh. And all this stuff I've already examined, right? Yes, I have. And the game is fine with all of it. Uh, what's missing? It's probably inside. Boop. The wheel hub bearing, there we go. Wheel hub cap. And the rims. Alright. But I think most of the stuff that can be seen on the test path... Um, cannot start engine. Brilliant. Oh! Okay. Oh yeah, I said I would check the oil. I'm an idiot. Also the um also the uh spark plugs and such. No, I've already checked the oil. Oil looks okay ish. Let's see the spark plugs. I'm hoping it's just two of the spark plugs. But it doesn't look like it. No. OBD scanner. How do I do that? How did I get to the OBD thing before? Um... How did I get, how did I get to that? I was in examine modes. Examine mode? No. Was it overview? Normal mode, car status. No. How the frig did I get to those tools before? That's... Right, let's live the car again. How? I just went past it really quickly. There we go. So it has to be lifted. OBD. Alright. Yes. Do I have to click? Yes. There we go. Everything is at 61%. That doesn't really help me in the least. Because that's none of the parts that need to be... So... The engine cannot start. That that means it's either the alternator or the battery, maybe. Or the starter. Let's check the starter. But no, we've taken the starter off because uh, we needed to replace the gearbox. So, let's check. 
the alternator. Take that off. Take the alternator off. Come on, 61%. Power steering pump. None of this stuff would really be a major issue. Let me see anyway. Because now you cannot actually rely on uh, everything looking rusty. It could be the timing gear, but why would the engine not start because of that? And still not discovered. Brilliant. That just brilliant. All right, let's put that back on. So now instead of fixing the cars, we are just, you know, wildly looking for which part it is. And the game doesn't really give us an idea of which part it is because, well, everything is rusty looking. So that's nice. Uh, I said I would check the battery. I've already checked spark plugs with the OBD scanner. All right, let's put these things back on. Where's the battery? 61%. <laughs> oh my god. All right. Flying spaghetti monster, help me. Right. What else could be preventing the car from starting? It's got oil. It's got the spark plugs, okay. Um, maybe some of this stuff, but... I guess I could take off the timing cover and see if it's the belt or something. Part. That looks... It doesn't look great. 61%. No, that's just fine. Oh, wait a second. The fuel injection there rail, but it also looks like it lists like 61%. Yep. And I suppose that's not it. Nope. Oh, it's the radiator fan housing. There we go. 14%. It's always that, isn't it? There we go. Fan housing fan radiator. Uh, fan housing and fan. That one. Jeez. Okay. See, the plastic stuff is now a lot more difficult to see. Because it, it, it's not really rusty. It's just sort of... Well, looking battered. Uh, which is fine with me. But, you know. Now, let's put that back in. And this car is done. And wow, the guy spent a lot of money for this. There we go. Hopefully it's gonna serve him well now. Almost 8,000 for the repair. He must not be happy. There we go. <clears throat> Jeez. That was quite the repair. Well, anyway, thank you so much for watching. We're getting close to the next uh, XP level so we can get some new goodies. And, um, yeah. We're gonna get... Probably the faster... The nimble hands next time. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next part. Bye-bye.